Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of operational word problems. This is standard 7.3b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 8 off the 2016 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Mrs. Blankenship, she's got $80 to purchase school supplies. Looks like she's just making two large purchases. She's got 32 glue sticks, 32 boxes of crayons, and then they each cost a different amount. And we're simply looking for her change. How much money does she have left? So that seems pretty straightforward. Let's just make a little strip diagram just to kind of represent what we're looking at here. And then we'll just work the numbers. So her total is $80. That's how much she's got and really it looks like it's going to be split into three parts not necessarily even but i will go ahead and just make them even just for demonstration purposes so we've got 32 glue sticks and the glue sticks are a buck 40 each so i'm going to do 32 sets of a buck 40. she also has 32 boxes of crayons and the crayons are, there we go, 59 cents each, so not nearly as much. And then we've got change. That's what we're looking for, is that missing amount, and all of that adds up to 80. So let's just figure out what these two chunks are right here. That's going to help us. And then we can subtract that from 80, and we'll be good to go. So let's see, let's do our glue sticks first. So 140 times 32, when we multiply decimals, we don't worry about where the decimals are. We don't line up decimals like we do when we add or subtract. We just ignore them, pretend this is 140 times 32. We'll bring the decimal back in at the end. So two times zero is zero, two times four is eight, two times one is two. Let's bring that zero in. Three times zero is zero, three times four is 12. 3 times 1 is 3, add that 4, let's add that up, 0, 8, 4, 4. Now, it's not $4,480, that makes no sense. This is where our decimal comes back in. I've got two digits behind the decimal in my factor, so I've got two digits behind the decimal in my product, $44.80. That makes sense, because it's about a buck and a half each, and 44 is about one and a half times bigger than 32 so that makes sense so really that 32 sets of a buck 40 is going to be 44 dollars 80 cents let's do the same thing here for our 59 cents so i'm just going to leave it as 0.59 times 32 we'll bring that decimal in at the end so nine times two is 18 five and two is 10 add the one is 11 get rid of this three times seven is 27 5 times 3 is 15, add that 2 is 17, and let's add this up. I've got 8, I've got 8, a whole bunch of 8s. Now, two digits behind the decimal in my factor, so two digits behind the decimal, 1888. 1888. You notice 1888 shows up here. It's an answer choice, but it is not what I need to do. I need to figure out my 1888 and my 14. My 4480, let's add those two up. Let's see how much those two are. 8, 16. Now we do line up the decimals when we are adding. That's 13. So look at this 63, 68. Obviously, this is going to be an answer choice. This is not the answer, but I would bet anything that is the most chosen incorrect answer. Because you do all this work, you see your number, you're like, yes, I'm done. No, we're not. Right here. What we have is 63.68. My question is, what is this missing amount right here? That's the change. Now I've got to subtract from 80, but I need to add some zeros here to make sure I've got it all lined up. 63.68, whole bunch of regrouping. 7, that's going to be 10, 9, 10, 9. Now we can subtract 2, 3, 6. There we go, $16.32. Your answer is F.